Hi, hi, I'm Don Loveless, stormwater construction supervisor. Here on the corner of uh, Elkham and Fort Smith, we had some uh, washouts in the hill here, and we're trying to get them filled up and re get some sod on it before the next rain. As you can see, it come down and plugged one of the basins. And, uh, that's kind of what we're doing here. This is kind of everything all summer long with these heavy rains. We have major washouts like this. We're trying to get it fixed before we do have a major washout. Good morning. My name is Sonia Clay Harvey, your adopt -the street program coordinator for the city of Deltona. As you may know, Deltona is the biggest city here in Volusia County with over 466 miles of roadway. In the past few months, we have gained 10 new adoptees here in the city of Deltona. Participants agreed to pick up trash and litter along the medians and right-of-ways along the streets that they choose to adopt. Hazardous materials are to be called in to our Public Works Department. Regular litter pickup will be collected and disposed of with your normal trash. Once you become an adoptee with the city in Daltona, I personally will come out and hand deliver you one of our adopt -a street bags. Included in this bag, we have a garbage picker. We also have some hand gloves. In addition to that, we have a notebook where you can keep track of how much trash collected during the day. We also provide garbage bags, a flashlight. In addition to this, after adopting a street, I personally will come out and hand deliver you a certificate of appreciation. And if you like, we can take a picture next to your sign. Let's continue keeping Deltona beautiful. If you're interested in becoming an adoptee, please reach out to me, your coordinator at 386 878-8962. Your participation is greatly appreciated and will help improve our curb appeal here in Deltona. Hi, I'm Rick from Stormwater, supervisor, maintenance supervisor. We're out here on Elkham mowing. We uh, mow the main roads, there's 18 of them. Elkham being one of them, usually takes five to six weeks for a turnaround. We have the trash crew come through, they pick the trash and then the mowers come through. Hello City of Deltona, my name is Chief Brent Drexler, here to give you a public service announcement. Firefighters do more than fight fires and respond to accidents to help prevent injuries before they happen. The fire department will, will install smoke detectors for those who need them. Firefighters also do car seat checks and installations. If you need a smoke detector or would like your car seat inspected, contact the fire department at 386-575-6901. Animal services staff will do anything they can to help all animals, wild or domestic. We recently received a call about an injured possum um, and her baby. We were able to take her to Florida Wild in DeLand. Um, they were able to rehabilitate her and treat her for her injuries. Um, whenever possible, we like to take sick or injured wildlife to Florida Wild to give them the best chance. Animal services often receives calls about animals in distress. Uh, we recently received a call about a group of ducklings trapped in a storm drain. Um, we were able to remove those ducklings from that storm drain and reunite them with their mother. Um, we also had a call for a gopher tortoise that was stuck between two fences. We were able to remove them from the fence and place them back in the wild on a vacant lot. Um, not all wild animals are welcome in Deltona though. We recently had a call for a tegu lizard um, in, a, in a backyard. So tegu lizards are highly invasive in Florida. Um, whenever they're spotted, you should report it to FWC for removal. Um, they wreak havoc on our natural ecosystem. They have been known to kill gopher tortoise hatchlings, um, eat their eggs. Also, they eat birds, such as our local scrub jays. Um, so whenever possible, if you see one, report it to FWC so they can take care of it, um, remove it from our local community. Uh, staff is also working on, uh, continue working on the chicken ordinance. Uh, so that'll be going to our next city commission meeting in August. Uh, so we look forward to getting that adopted and getting that uh, done. Also, staff is currently working on the fence ordinance. We've got that coming through and pushing through. Uh, that'll be on our August 16th uh, planning and zoning meeting uh, for planning and zoning board hearing and recommendation, uh, and then getting uh, pushed through to uh, September uh, city commission meeting for first hearing and hopefully in, in uh, October for adoption. Currently, city staff is working with PNS Pavings to mill and resurface streets throughout the city. They've already completed East Normandy Boulevard between Quincy and Farrington and some other small streets throughout the city. 
Currently we're here at Beaver Drive where they're milling and resurfacing and they're going to continue to work in phases throughout the city in order to make sure that our roads are smooth and safe for travel. If you go on our city website, you'll see a list there of streets that they're going to be paving here in the near future. Deltona Water installed more than 200 meters in the Edgewater condominium community and now they're moving on to the Riverside condominiums. These new meters are going to also be installed in new construction, both residential and commercial. City staff has gone around throughout the city and picked up 20 loads of dump material. If you go to our city website and go to the solid waste department, you'll see their information about how to properly dispose of hazardous materials and other large items. Public Works staff is always ready to respond after work hours at any time of the night or on the weekend to handle or assist with emergencies. Recently, due to the afternoon thunderstorms, there was some trees down on Geraldine Drive and some signs down on Waco that our crews had to go out and handle. Anytime on the nights or weekends, if you see something that's in a hazard or is an emergency that you need to be taken care of, you can call the after hours emergency line, which is 386-860-7177.